calls for from a Sheraton to the Civic Center. Right here. The BJCC where many venues, concerts and all that is housed. We're here at Mama's Marinara uh, stop at the Contails Village. And this is Mr. Talbert, the founder of Mama's Marinara. Tell us a little about Mama's Marinara. Uh, Mama's Marinara is quite simply just a great wholesome product. I use fresh raw tomatoes, fresh garlic, onions, and herbs. No added sugar or artificial preservatives. It goes fantastic with everything. It's great on all kinds of vegetables like grilled and baked squash, eggplant, zucchini. Perfect for chicken or veal parmesan. And it's absolutely amazing for anything from game day to gourmet. And where can we find Mama's Marinara at? Well, right now we're doing a lot of shows like Cottontails Village here. We're doing farmer's yeah. markets. We've got 25 retail locations in around the Birmingham and North Alabama area. We're in all the people Wigglies in this area, Homewood, Bluff Park, Mountain Brook, Crestline. Uh, we're in the Western Stores in the area. We're in Peggy Wigley and Warrior, Food Giant and Penson, Fresh Value Market and Trustful. So there's lots of places you can get us. And if you can't find us on the shelf, all you got to do is pick up a card or look us up on Facebook or our website, mamasmarinara.com. Get any information you need, contact us, and we'll be glad to give it to you. And uh, where'd y'all come with the name Mama's Marinara? Mama's is a tribute to my mom. Everybody calls her Mama. And through the years, she would put up a couple hundred jars of tomatoes every summer. Out of necessity, if you didn't want to eat just tomato soup or chili through the wintertime, you had to do something else with tomatoes, so I developed a recipe. And since it was inspired from her tomatoes, I named it Mama as a tribute to her. Thank you, Mr. Talbert. Thank you. You can find uh, the Mama's Marinara table right here in the lower level of the Contels Village. Uh, they also have the great samples. If you want to go check out the recipe I did with the Mama's Marinara, it's how, how to make the best piece ever. It's a good, pro great product. And they'll be here from Saturday and Sunday at Contel's Village. Now what is this? What does it look like? Uh, a lobster. Well it's not a lobster because it's not big enough and the claws aren't the right proportion. Okay. Now what's the symbol? Uh, cross? No, it's a fleur de lis. Okay. From New Orleans. New Orleans, yeah. So this is a crawfish like the New Orleans and shrimp. Sense. Yeah. You just add rice, you got etouffee. Okay. <laughs> So I call that my craw de lis. Yeah. That's, that's a way to crystallize the cuisine and the community of New Orleans in one little picture. Yes, sir. Creative, creative. Show us a couple of your more artwork. Well, what would you be interested in? We got fast food right here. Fast food. Yeah. My town loves food. There you go. That's ah, fast, fast food. food. Yeah, you got the Oreos for the tires. Yeah. You got the hoagie sandwich for the seat. The gas tanks, an ice cream cone, and of course the fork's a fork. You need a fork. You yeah. <laughs> so that's my fast food. Yes, sir. Big pictures made out of little pictures with a mm -hmm. bit of humor thrown in. And then this one's awfully nice. See, I found out if you put two wine bottles next to one another, the space in between them is the shape of a wine glass. Nice. But it has a really long stem. So if you put 12 in a row and you only use pink wine, you mm -hmm. get a dozen long stem rosés. <laughs> <laughs> See why I like my work? Yeah. So this is Mr. Stewart. He's oh, at, the, yeah. great, uh, the Contels Village. Tell us a little about your uh, business and what do you do? My business is to draw silly pictures that make people smile and then they give me money so I can draw more of them tomorrow. This is what you do when you didn't really know what you wanted to be, you thought you did, mm -hmm. and you go to school and work real hard and make good grades and go to medical school and be a doctor, hate every minute of it, and quit that to draw silly pictures. So that's my story. Living the dream. And how Living long have you been dream. drawing? This is a little over 30 years. A little over 30 years. Yeah. And you're based in Homewood, is that correct? Homewood, Alabama, the DS Art Studio. The DS Art Studio. Some great work, as you can see. And he's a, in the Contels, Contels Village, uh, right when you walk in, the first floor, uh, right here. Uh, 
So when you first walk in that door, you just come right here. He'll be here Saturday and Sunday. Is that correct? correct? At what time? To what time? I believe uh, 10 till 6 tomorrow, 10 till maybe 10 till 7 tomorrow, 10 till 6 on Sunday. Okay. So you can check him out this weekend at the Condos Village. Thank you, Ms. Stewart. Thank you. So we're here at Borderland Handcrafted Candles with Mr. Chris. Tell us about the business. Sure, man. Well, we started about a year ago. We, uh, me and my wife were on a date. We found a pipe tobacco candle and I fell in love with it. So after that, I did about two years of research and we finally launched the company. This is year one. So we handcraft and hand pour all our candles in a shop in the backyard. We currently have 14 different fragrances here, but it's 100% soy wax, so you get a nice clean burn all the way down. We try to just give a lot of unique fragrances, and we decided to, if we're going to do something, do something that matters. So we decided to donate a portion of every uh, candle sold to Hydrating Humanity. And they do a lot of work with water wells, with kitchen sanitation and hygiene. The well has a lifetime warranty, so we wanted to do something that could not only uh, provide for our family, but provide for villages uh, across Africa. So it's just a really cool organization. So it's, so, so it's more than calls. It's a, a bigger cause than just it's selling more, candles. It's more than a transaction. Yes, sir. Yes, bigger. sir. So we're, we're just blessed to be able to help these guys and, you know, be able to put a roof over our head as well. So. Yes, sir. And then what are your favorite candles that you have? Uh, my favorite is Tobacco Bay Leaf. Uh, it's, let's see, down there right here. we have Southern Gardenia, which is a new release. Mm -hmm. Water Lily is our best seller, and uh, Sweet Tobacco is another favorite. Sweet so they, Tobacco. Yeah, we try to try to find fragrances that you won't find other places. So, yes, sir. Yeah. Very authentic business right here. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Where to find the Borderland? You walk into those stores right here. Come right here. You'll uh, see a Sheraton right behind it. Other skyscrapers over here. Uh, Ten to eight. Saturday. All right, and then 10 to 5. 10 to 5 on Sunday. 10 to 5 on Sunday. And where are y'all based on? We're based in from Brandon, Mississippi, about 20 minutes outside of Jackson. Yes, sir. Find them online as well. I'll put the link below. Thank you.